Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. Welcome to another Swiss Oath of the Gatewatch Battle for Zendikar draft. Quick reminder to check out the debut episode of Whose Card Is It Anyway? I'll have a link up and you can also find that link in the video description if you're watching on mobile. I think the first pick here is an Oblivion Strike because it's a great removal spell and there's nothing else quite as powerful in it in this pack. Hedron Crawler is pretty good. Got a chance to play Seagate Wreckage and liked it. Bailoth Pup's pretty aggressive, but let's take the Oblivion Strike. Okay, follow-up pick, probably just a Soothsayer. Very strong card. I like it more than Remorseless Punishment. And other colors, not so good. Sky Climber's fine, Scythe Master's fine. Soothsayer's the pick, though. Okay. Well, on to War Cleric. Seems like the direction to go. Could take the Master work if I thought I could make a different color ally deck work. But uh, War Cleric's very good. And Black White is very good, as we all well know. So I think we're just going to take a War Cleric. War Cleric's one of, the, one of the stronger cards for the Black White deck. Okay, so we have a Wall of Resurgence, which I think is actually pretty good. There's also a Holdout Settlement, but considering that it's between that or a shoulder to shoulder, I think I actually like the Wall of Resurgence here. Uh, if we can find, like, we already have Soothsayer and Andu War Cleric. Both of these cards are great sort of late game ways to get advantage in the game. And Wall of Resurgence just seems like a really nice card to buy you more time, giving you a blocker and a 3-3 as well. And I think I like the card more than shoulder to shoulder. I don't know. Shoulder to shoulder to me has been good against me, but I've been a little bit less impressed when I play it. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I don't have any problems with it. Let's take the Wall of Resurgence. Allied Reinforcements. Nice pickup for us here. There's also a Vampire Envoy. Hmm. That's tough. Envoy's, uh, Envoy might actually be the pick. I mean, the thing is, both cards work really well with Soothsayer and Andu War Cleric. But I think Envoy might actually have a slight edge just because it's easier to pick up four, five, six drops. And you really can't have enough Envoys in the black-white deck. That's actually really difficult, though. Reinforcements is very good, too. I think I'm just going to go with the Envoy, though. Especially if I... If I pick up more cohort too, I'm gonna to be pretty happy. I have it. I do think I, I, I'm, a, I'm not exactly sure on that. I just have a feeling I think the envoy is better because it's cheaper. Well, embodiment's very good. Possibly is worth splashing. There is a slaughter drone though, which uh, is fine. This isn't exactly the deck for it, but then again, embodiment's not really. I mean, this is not gearing up to be the embodiment deck. I think I'm just gonna take the slaughter drone. Which is fine, like I said. If I'm short on playables, it'll be nice to have an extra two drop. So I could take Waste here. Unnatural Endurance is decent. Decent enough to play. Mobilizer Eldrazi is pretty good too, but let's take the Unnatural Endurance. Okay, Crumbling Vestige seems like a fine pickup for us here. More exciting than Corpse Churn and Dazzling Reflection. Could take a second Slaughter Drone. I guess I'm okay with that. Another Crumbling Vestige in here as well. Alright, got the punishment back. I'll take it. It's playable. Probably not... E certainly not eager to play it, but it is playable. I think we're just going to cut the... So it looks like some red cards are coming fairly late. Could end up... Uh, maybe I'm supposed to be black-red. Let's take the Brute Strength, then. Okay. I'm going to take Translator over Maw here. Translator's going to work better with the, the Slaughter Drones. So, like I said, could end up black-red. We saw a late embodiment, which I guess I could have taken over a slaughter drone. Possibly just started branching towards that. That might have been correct. We'll see. All I've really solidified myself into is black, which looks like I've done a pretty good job of. But maybe, yeah, maybe black-red devoid with like a slight ally theme. We only picked up two white cards. Both of them are pretty good. But 
It did look like white was getting cut. It could be, though, that you're supposed to supplement. Like, pack two, I can just supplement white cards. A lot of times what happens is white's getting cut from that pack, which means it'll also get cut from pack three. But pack two, I might be getting past some white cards. And I can pick up the important white cards out of pack two. All right, I guess we'll take an expedite. All right, so I'm definitely black, depending on rares we're opened or we open or pass. Might end up in red. Okay, so for example, I can take embodiment now. Could also take the mob, but embodiment's definitely better, even if you're a devoid deck. In black, I have Havoc Sower, which is good. I'm for sure black, so I might just want the Havoc Sower. I think Embodiment's better, though. But it really is just between those two. So I think because I'm 100% black, I'm just going to take the Havoc Sower. Which is still a very good card. Not as good as Embodiment. I mean... If I end up red, I'm, I'm going to want the Embodiment. Hmm. Bit of a challenge here. I'd also... But if I pick up Havoc Sower, I'm just incentivized to pick up some colorless lands as well. They're both good. Embodiment's better. I'm going to take the sure thing. I'm going to take the Havoc Sower. Okay. Well, now we get past the War Cleric, which I'm going to take, I think, here. Granted, we're, well, we're light on allies currently, but doesn't mean we can't find them. I think we're just going to take the War Cleric here, which I'm fine with. Spatial Contortion's good removal, if you can make it work. Might be able to make it work. Kind of looks cool, foiled out. There's also Expedition Raptor in here. I think we're just going to take the Contortion, get the removal. Okay, Alpha Protector kind of looks like something our deck wants. Because it's an ally. But we might... Well, are we going to wheel it? Might want the Unknown Shores now. A Double Slaughter Drone and Havoc Sower. Alright, I'm going to take the Unknown Shores. Hope to wheel that off a Protector. We'll see if it happens. Okay, I can take Wastes or I can take the Shrieker. There's also Searing Light and Sears Lantern. All of which are reasonable options. I think we're still going to at least have one more shot at a Colorless Land. And I'm not going to need more than three, so... I'm going to either take the Shrieker or the Searing Light or the Sears Lantern here. Probably the Shrieker. Kind of getting a weird mix of a deck here. But Shrieker's very good. It does put people away. All right. All right. Sky Climber is certainly a fine card here. There's also Cinder Barons, but we'll take the Sky Climber. Ooh, there we go. Cliffhaven Vamp, so rewarded, especially with double onto War Cleric and Envoy. Cliffhaven Vamp's looking great, better than Chain Mage for sure. All right, so we get a Protector anyway. There's also a Raptor, Translator, and a Flaying Tendrils. I like Flaying Tendrils more than most. Problem is it kills most of the things in our deck, so I wouldn't want to play it. It's going to be good against us, but I still think Alpha Protector's more in line with what we're looking for because we have we need to up our ally count. Even though we do have, like I said, kind of a weird mix of allies and non-allies, I still think Protector is going to be good for us. I can't imagine a world where I play three Unnatural Endurance. guess we can take Maw. I don't think I'm splashing it. I'm not going to play Bonesaw. Could take Mighty Leap. Maybe I'd play, maybe I'd play Mighty Leap. I just, would I, I'd probably play Unnatural Endurance over Mighty Leap, but I already have two, though. It just seems so unnecessary. Uh, just for diversity's sake, I think I'm going to take a, a Mighty Leap. I just don't think I'm playing it. So currently we have three ways to get colorless mana, which I think is enough for, certainly enough for Slaughter Drone and Cause Like Shrieker. Spatial Contortion, we actually have quite a few colorless matters cards, but only one where it's like, we only have one colorless required card, which is not bad. I can take Witness the End. I think Kitness Cloak is playable. 
It's not really, I mean, I guess it's good on like an Envoy or something or a Cliffhaven Vamp. I don't think I love it. I guess it's okay on a Protector too. I might want the Witness the end. I've played it. I think it's an okay card. All right, we'll just take a Corpse Churn, I guess. I don't care about any of those. I'm gonna take a, actually, I was going to take a Foil Land, but I think we actually want this off Protector. Might end up playing it. We have enough incentive at this point to do so. Double Witness the end. Well, I would prefer to not have to play two Witness the ends. Take them out for now. I think they're they're fine. Main deck, probably better sideboard. So, we have a decent ally theme going so far. Yeah, I mean, we do. We ended up with... We didn't get the Zulaport Chain Mage. But, I think the deck's looking good. We have a good ally count going, right? What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. It's not bad. God, Guardian of Tazim is strong. Probably just going to slam this Stasis Snare. Otherwise, it might be an easy cutthroat because life gain alongside the Cliff Like, Cliffhaven and Zulaport cutthroat like each other a lot. That's pretty sick, actually. It's like each time one of your guys dies, you drain them for two. Or you hit them for two and gain a life. It's pretty good, but we got to slam this Stasis Snare. We're, our deck kind of needs removal. We have one Oblivion Strike and... That's a, a spatial contortion, I guess. As of now, it's not really striking me as a remorseless punishment deck because our, our creatures are all kind of walls. We want a better sort of late game plan at the moment. But we're going to take the removal for sure. I guess Dominator Drone is technically playable in here, but I think I'd prefer the Ghostly Sentinel. Actually, Malakir Familiar is definitely in line with this deck. We have ways to pump it as well. Not an ally, but... We do gain life. It's evasive. It has death touch. It's very good. We're going to take it. Okay, carry with all something cheap, but we want this Night Watch for sure. Actually, there's Demon's Grasp in here too. I still think I want the Night Watch with double Andu, Work Lyric, and the Envoy. Like, Envoy and Night Watch are just ludicrous together. So I just love how, how well they interact. And I I actually think, not even think, I definitely would play Demon's Grasp in here, but I think we just kind of need more finishers. The Night Watch is very good. Okay, Bone Splinters, I mean, not really what I'm looking for. But otherwise it's like Titan's Presence, which only have five things, which is not enough. I could find more. If I had eight, I would play Titan's Presence, but no less. Yeah, and those are the only two options. I just think it's really unlikely I'm going to end up playing either. It's probably more likely I'd pay, play a Titan's Presence, but to be honest, that's pretty unlikely too. I could, though. I just don't think I'm going to play Bone Splinters. I guess it's okay with Wall of Resurgence, but we just don't make tokens. I think I'd rather try my luck. At a Titan's Presence. Ooh. Healer is very good. Works really well with the Night Watch, too. I like it more than the Courier Griffin. Actually, Courier Griffin's good for us, too. But I'm going to take the the ally here. Okay. I can take another ally and look out. Or I can take Courier Griffin. If you want the healer to be maximized... I mean, Griffin's going to be good with Night Watch and good with Cliffhaven Vamp. But look out's a good mana sink. And it's an ally. And it's a good late game plan. Not an insane one, but I like having it. It's good with Cohort. Um, hmm. What's my ally count currently? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not bad. 10 is pretty adequate. Could take the career. I think I'm going to take the flyer. Maybe we get lucky and we'll look out. Not sure on that. We'll see. Ooh, I actually like ally encampment. And we have 10 allies currently, which is probably... And it's a colorless source. Yeah, we're definitely taking the allied ally encampment here. I like Chandler too. But let's... Uh, I think Titan's Presence at this point is probably not going to work. Let's take the encampment here. So this is our 23 card deck. I don't think we're a 18 land deck. By any stretch. Ooh, you know how much I love my vampiric rights. Could take the tandem tactics as well. 
I am a big fan of Vampiric Rides. Just a great way to generate card advantage. Has really good synergy with Cliffhaven Vamp, too. And, of course, Nightwatch. And it even is reasonable with Soothsayers, another way to gain life. It's good in response to removal. Um, slightly more exciting than Tandem Tactics. I think we have enough combat tricks already. I'm going to, even though Tandem Tactics is a good one, especially in our deck, I'm going to take the rights. Hope that we end up playing it. Wheeling Zulaport Cutthroat's just really fantastic. I think I'm going to run that over. Well, we'll figure it out. I'm not sure yet. Um, neither of these cards are very good. I don't think we're going to end up needing either. I might just hate like a Stone Fury, which seems like it's the best card remaining in the pack. Wheeling the Demon's Grasp is really great. I, With the amount of creatures we have, I, I definitely am taking and playing it. So we've got cuts to make, which is always a good problem to have. Guess we'll take the Inspired Charge. Turnigans can be pretty harsh. We'll take that. Okay. Deck's looking good. I'm digging it. We're, we have a very adequate ally count. We've got colorless mana for days, so I think the Slaughter Drones are going to make it. And the Havoc Sower, too, for that reason, for that matter. So I have to figure out cuts. Might be an Alpha Protector. Let me figure out what my final... Only because Alpha Protector is just kind of an underwhelming card in general. And I think we have enough three, three drops that... I think we have both enough allies and enough three drops that block well. So, that's cool that we got the ally in camp, and actually, I think that's that's nice. Yeah, all of our colorless sources are good. So, we need to make two cuts. I'm, st I'm very comfortable running a 17 land deck. Are we top out at five? Most of our deck is cheap. So, let's do a final ally count with, with the double alpha protector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11. 11 is nice. So I think I only want to cut one ally, and it's probably the Alpha Protector. I still kind of want to run the Slaughter Drones and the Shrieker, because they beat down well. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to cut. Kind of want all of my two drops, just because I feel like Slaughter Drone's actually pretty good in this deck with three, four colorless sources. Like, the Death Touch, I think, will come up. And I'll and they can also beat down early, which this deck actually looks like it can do fairly effectively. And we have a good late game plan at this point with the Cliffhaven Vamp, the Andu Work Lyrics, the Night Watch with Life Gain, the Soothsayer for card advantage. I guess I could cut Vampiric Rites. I don't really want to cut a natural endurance. There's creatures I want to save. I like vampiric rites a lot, though. You know that. Maybe I just bring it in against the... Uh... I just feel like... Mm. I feel like there's good synergies with it. Like, Cliff and Vamp... Draining every time you sack a creature is cool. Zulaport Cutthroat with Cliffhaven Vamp's great too. But what else? What other reasons to play Vampiric Rites? I mean, it's it's kind of positive synergy with Soothsayer because you're losing life, but you get to gain life when you sack creatures too. It definitely works well with Nightwatch, but you have to sack a creature. It's kind of good with Wall of Resurgence, but not insane. Ah, maybe we sideboard into it. If we're playing against a deck that runs a bunch of removal, we can bring it in. I guess I'm I'm pretty happy with this deck. Like, running all these cards just seems good for us. Okay. So, sort by color. Definitely more black than white. We do have double white that we're going to need, though. So, um, how many of our white cards are allies? One, two, three, four, five. So, five of our eight white cards are allies. That's... That's not bad for uh, ally encampment. Unknown shores and crumbling vestige can count as half a land. So really, we have like one of each already. So if we do like this, 
it's like seven and a half. You can count ally encampment as half. So like seven and a half white sources. Although the one thing that needs double white is not an ally. Hmm. But we also have like nine and a half black. We only need one black. Hmm. We just have so much more black than white that I think this is an adequate mana base. We, we don't have to play Stasis Snare on turn three anyway. And Unknown Shores can get us the white. I mean, we definitely want to make sure we have black mana early. We just don't need double black, I guess, but... And we do need double white. And we need white early. Mm, I just don't like that very much. Wait. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we're going to do 8, 6. We're going to do 8, 6. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. We just need black a lot more. We need to make sure that we see one black mana. Uh, I like this deck. It's good. We ended up with good removal. We have Spatial Contortion, an Unnatural Endurance Combat Trick, Stasis Snare, Oblivion Strike, Demon's Grasp. We have great creatures. We have Death Touch, too. We have the Colorless Mana to support Slaughter Drone, Shrieker, Havoc Sower. We have a, certainly have an adequate ally count for our cohort cards. Good late game plan. Good early game plan. This deck looks pretty good. I think... We're lacking a little bit in the synergy department for your traditional black-white. Could have used like a Zulaport Chain Mage to really give us a yet another good late-game way to win. Um, and we're running card like Afa Protector, which I don't love, but seems fine for our deck, I guess, overall. Not great, but fine. So uh, let's give this deck, I'd probably give this deck an 80%. I think all in all, it looks pretty good to me. We could have used some more bombs, I think, to really put it over the edge. Maybe a little bit more removal. So 79, 80% seems fine to me. Okay. Running it like this, we'll see you round one.